Right, so I'm going to swap the all-terrain over to the street. I've not tried the street yet. So here's the street kit. So you've got the wheels, the uh, belt covers, and the gears, the belts, bearings, various other bits. Right, so let's set up the wheels. So these are full of speed rings and spacers. Right, so we're going to set up the wheels first. So you have a bearing, then you have a spacer on the inside of the wheel, and then a bearing on the other side. So the easiest way is just to take one of the wheels off on the front. Right, so I'm going to take the wheel off. Right, so the easiest way to set them up, put the bearings on the wheels, is put them in sequence. So it's on the hub like that. Right, and then get your wheel. Push it on. That's one side. See, and then when you turn it over, the space will automatically go to the centre. Well, that's one done. And do that to the other three wheels. Okay, now the wheels are done. Put the bearing in your drive kit. Drop it in there. Push it home. You do that twice. Right, so to install the front wheel, you have a speed ring which is one of these black washers first. Then you put the wheel on. Put another speed ring on the top. And then the nut. And just tighten that up. Right, now to remove the back wheel. It's obviously a bit more complicated because of the motors there. Tighten that off, there's a speed ring there. So there's a speed ring, and it's the same as the front, there's a speed ring at the top and a speed ring in there as well. Right, and then you need to take this cover off. Now you move to loosen the motor bolts. Okay, that's off. Then you have a silver speed ring between the drive gear and the truck. It goes in between that and that, so that would go on like that. And then the speed ring goes on top of that. And then a wheel. But before you do that, don't forget to put the belt on it. And once that's on, just check it, it spins freely. And push it out and tighten it up. 